This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole. Rabbit Hole. I've talked about this sauce for quite a long time now. Introducing Rabbit Hole and their one-of-a-kind bourbon and rye whiskeys, baby. You've seen me sip this on the show. I enjoy sharing this with guests, and that's why I want you to try it for yourself. It's a sleek bottle. It's great to grab, by the way. I really do enjoy it. Uh, Kaveh Zamanian, Rabbit Hole's founder and whiskey maker, gave gave up a 25-plus year career as a clinical psychologist to pursue his lifelong passion to craft the world's finest spirits. And did he do it? He did. Instead of buying aged whiskey, he went all in, learning from the best to develop his own recipes. No shortcuts, no compromise. Last year, uh, he inducted into the Kentucky Bourbon Hall of Fame's 20th anniversary class. Come on, baby. It's pretty legendary. Rabbit Hole's uh, mission is to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. The extraordinary, if you will. And their whiskeys prove it. Original mass bill recipe, signature multi grains, aged in hand-selected chard and toasted barrels. Uh, just award-winning small batch whiskey made with passion and love. You can tell when you taste this stuff. If you're looking for a whiskey with a new perspective, skip the ordinary and sip the extraordinary. Uh, they got four distinct expressions. Uh, I think we were uh, sipping on some of this high gold, which is, uh, I love this high gold. It's award-winning high rye, double malt bourbon. Uh, it's very unique. Um, it's not your traditional spin bourbon like the Cave Hill, which is very good as well. Uh, that's their four grain triple malt. Uh, they also have Boxer Grail. That's their sour mash rye. Good stuff. And their Derringer. If you like something a little bit sweeter, I dare to say, it's award-winning bourbon finished in PX Sherry casks. And those Sherry casks are Pedro Jimenez, by the way. So it tastes uh, sweet and smooth. Those notes of cherry are delish on your tongue. You've got to try it. I really do enjoy Rabbit Hole. Go to uh, rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. Use that code rabbit for $5 off your first order. Or go to rabbitholedistillery.com. Check out where Rabbit Hole is sold in your area. It's sold all over the place. So go grab this comfy bottle. Fits right in the palm of my hand. This like shack holding a basketball. I love this stuff. It's really good. Drink responsibly. Jump down the rabbit hole with me. What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If it's your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. We got a good one for you today. Like my man Steve Harvey done say, it's Jared Freed. Uh, this dude is a wonderful human being. He's got a special out on Netflix right now. 37 and single. Please go check it out immediately if you're a Netflixian. Go check it out. He made a comedy special for you. He's also on tour. I'm also on tour coming back in the fall. Me and uh, Bob Lee, me and Robert E. Lee, a descendant of Robert E. Lee, Bobby Lee, we're on the road. We're going to Chicago, Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Madison, D.C., Rochester, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Denver, you name it, we're on it. We're on the road. Go to badfriendspod.com, badfriendspod.com. Uh, for those tickets. There's enough rambling from me so far, so let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's Jared Freed in the house, dude. Cheers dude, to you. Cheers. It's a pleasure to like meet you, really. Yeah, in, real, know, in the in, real world. In the real world. Well, I've like, passed you in the club. Passing by. Different. Mm. Love it. It's very good, right? Love it. Real good sauce. Seven real good in the stomach. Yeah, 7.30 uh, in the morning and we're drinking. Great. This is awesome. No, I've seen you. We've passed each other it's in, in the world. It's in passing stuff. I, you know, there are people in comedy that I see from afar and I'm like, I think we'll get along. Yeah. And then I don't think you trusted that, 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 that intention. <sighs> I, I think it's it's taken a long time for us to make this happen. I, not you know due to lack is? of effort from me. Yeah, no, you're putting I in a lot of work. Was, yeah, a lot of work. You I know felt what it like is? I was trying to like bang you. I I uh, Jewish. I feel you know, it's Jewish, Jewish. You're thing. Jewish. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, even yeah. know how to say it. Yeah, you're yeah, Jewish. That was yeah, the Jew <laughs> please. I can't get. I have too many Jewish friends. I, well, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I, I hit like, the mark, I like dude. That. Yeah, I, no. I read the list and I go, "Oh this my is, god, oh my god." That's how I know. Oh was, that's oh how I know god. that the problem was. You were like, "I've met this guy before. I know his I, vibe. I know this summer camp Jew. Oh, you are a summer camp Jew. Yeah, two power wheels growing up. What's yeah, going on with okay. the summer camp Jew kids? What is that? That is this a place to go hook up when you're no, young? Well, no. There's two types. Of, there's co-ed and there's all boys. I went to an all boys uh, Jewish summer camp. My dad went there. My uncle went there. See, this is where you go because you're Catholic. This is, that's your problem, I'm not just our saying, problem. My mother and father never sent me to a uh, yeah, because your mom a, and dad didn't lake. fuck. They didn't send me to a lake with all boys. Yeah, my parents were like, we want to like have sex. 
sex. We want to keep our relationship alive. Why we all don't boys? Sit and, Why can't it be co-ed camp? Because all boys takes away all the shit. Like all the, imp- you know, athletes. People play sports, uh-huh. you know, and then you can think you're a good athlete as a Jew. That's what you go for. But you guys, but you're not good athletes. Yeah, then we get back home and we're right. like, oh, fuck. Then you meet black people. Then, then it kicks over. into full it's gear. A, oh, yeah. I never went all to a people. summer camp because <laughs> my parents <laughs> fucked while we're home. Like good Irish Catholics. That, uh, yeah, you guys are like, get out of the house so we can fuck. Yeah. They're fucking when we're eating breakfast. <laughs> That's the deal. You no, know, but quietly. The, no, no, no. They're, they're smashing they're to pieces. Yeah, they're shaking the seal. You could see the light in the kitchen shaking and I moving. Just, I, I just imagine. Irish that. Catholics, they can't stop fucking, by the way. Oh, yeah. Well, then That's they the thing. Keep, they how don't many stop. siblings do you have? I'm not, I'm not one You're of not them. One of I'm those. not one of those. <laughs> My mom's one of 10. That's. That's. That is ten insanity children. to me. Dude, God bless America. One ten, Greatest country all, in the world. Do you know all the uncles and aunts' names? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I'd be like, I, well, There's one we don't talk one. to. There's one we put away. One you don't talk to. There's That's one, pretty good one percentages. We, well, we put him away. What do you mean? Like in jail? You know what I'm talking about. We put him away. Rehab? He's got a room that he stays in and we don't let him out. <laughs> That's He's a bad in the boy. attic? Yeah. Is that, he's Harry Potter? He's, he had a bad hump on his back. He had one. He his eye was crooked, and we were like, we can't have this guy. Can't out have him out in the wild. No, it's how the it's how like the Chinese treat people with disabilities. They hide them. Is you that, know, I you didn't know even this? know. No, no, big no. deal. No, we talked to all of my uncles and aunts. I know all of them. You talk to them all? Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah. That's a that's a big. We're a pretty that's tight wild. family. I mean, I think like Midwest, uh, Illinois, Chicago, baby, Chicago. Yeah, you're Boston. You have the same kind of. But well, you know, sports town. This is why I thought we would get along. Uh, you like sports. Love sports. You're a comedian who's not like a nerd. Yeah, you know, you know, I'm a not... nerd about things that I'm a nerd about, right? Isn't that f- that China history? I I wouldn't know that shit. I'll give you so much China. Yeah, history. you like it's history. Love. Like... I like the idea. I like learning some stuff. Oh, I don't want to learn I'll, anything. I'll give you something right now. Merriam Webster. You know Merriam dictionary. Webster? Yeah. Of the of of you the Webster. Merriam Webster. Okay. Webster, original founder. Webster was the cat. Okay. He was the motherfucker that was like writing everything down, was a scholar. Mm. Then when he died, this motherfucker, Miriam, just like bought the rights and slid in. Miriam did woman. no fucking work. I see this is the this is the Jew in me. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bought good. the rights. By the way, Miriam is a guy. That's is his a guy? Last, that's his last name, Miriam. I was thinking of this hot woman, Miriam, with a big two fat last names. Ass. Webster, last name, Webster, last name, Miriam. And Miriam Slid in. Slid in. But let's just say Business it was person. a woman. Let's just say it was a hot woman. Hot woman, curvy. Oh, a thick. Thick yeah, wordsmith. Thick, thick. Oh, a yeah. thick business wordsmith. That's a Ooh. Kardashian. Yeah, that is. <laughs> that's, that is great. A thick business-minded wordsmith. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's, my, that's my type. Do you think they're smart, the Kardashians? Do Absolutely. You believe, geniuses. Yeah, they, yeah it's geniuses. funny, isn't it? Are you kidding? It is funny they, that they've been able to trick the world this many times. Well, it's not trick. At no, this no, point, some, it can't be a trick. There's some good tricks. I think they are. There's no one better at like taking the thing and then getting. You know, you know what they're pros at. Huh. What I respect. They know that the only way to succeed is to have two sides of an argument. They they create yeah. stories. Yeah. They do it every year. This, this is when I knew when they said when they put out the story because they put out the story that one of them was the first. Uh, the, the the younger one was the first self and self made billionaire, self made billionaire, female billionaire, right. self made female billionaire, and everyone was like, "What the fuck?" They knew what they were. That just made yeah. them more money. Just the words, self made female billionaire. But she probably was, in whatever context. But they knew people would get pissed at that. Yeah. So now that story lives in the news. Like they are pros at 2023 PR. Like that story of Kendall Jenner first self made. Do you know how many fucking Gary V assholes were out there being like, self-made! <laughs> uh, I, they turn into fucking Yosemite Sam rootin' tootin'! I'm no self-made! I'm an asshole! Yeah. <laughs> like, Gary so- V, by the way. Shout out Gary V. Uh, uh, motivational cuss words. That's what I call that guy. Motivational Ooh, cuss words. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, get your fucking ass up and right. fucking... <laughs> it's like, it's- I don't know who's... Mo- I, I, I think he's fine. Like, I like... The snake oil salesman, oh, like no, the music thank, man. No, thank you. I'm He's out. the snake oil, but like, who's buying that? Like, who's like every twenty-three year old? They kid, really buy, fresh out of college, yeah, looking that's for fair. hope. Looking I'd for... be that way. I mean, I, I'm not that. That's not not within me. Where did you go? Penn did State. You go? Oh, you did. Yeah. Where did you go? Arizona State. See, what this is? I knew we would get along. The one We're I went two to idiots. the idiots. But but you, you went, went to the West Coast at you, Penn State. You went to the, yeah. You went to the East Coast, Arizona State. Yeah, well, can call it what you want. We're the we're the one, man. This is why you didn't like me. 
because you went to alike. Penn State. Two, we Had I known two, you were from Boston and not Jersey, yeah, I would have immediately liked you more. Right. I thought you were a Jersey guy. Oh, and I like Jersey. More from... No, I love Jersey. I just assumed you were a Jersey guy. That, I get that a lot. That's that's anti-Semitism. It is. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a, I'm not going to hide you know, it. They go, when they go, <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get, you look like you're from Long Island. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? You know what that means. I know exactly what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, <laughs> fucking bar mitzvah boy. I, I can see it right in their eyes. Yeah. No, no, you know what it is? I just didn't know you were a Bostonian. But Boston is. So, you love Boston. It's our, it's my, it's our sister city. It's, you, chi- it's Chicago's, it's Chicago's troublemaker. You know right. when you see a friend you haven't seen in a long time? And you get that look in there, and you're like, oh, yeah. we're going to get in some fucking trouble. That's what Boston is to Chicago people. I, I think, I totally agree. Whenever I play Boston, my entire Chicago family comes out. So oh, we like can spend, visit. A, spend a week there. Yeah, I have it's my great. uncles, my cousins. Yeah. We all come all out because they all love Boston. They all, the culture. I love Chicago. My, we, so my brother, um, my brother now lives in uh, Skokie. Okay, yeah, that's out a little it's bit. It's out but, yeah, because yeah, he yeah. works for the Bears. Oh, what is so, he? What? Uh, oh, what does your brother do? Oh, might have a hookup. Let me tell you something. Oh, oh, oh! I know you're big Hollywood. You got a lot of friends. I got a lot friends. of hookups. Ah, oh, I you don't want me to call know. Justin Fields right now? Call him. I can't. Ah, I can't, dude. You can't wake those guys up. A... You can't wake those guys up at this time of day. <laughs> that was a Hollywood. He's off. in camp right now. <laughs> what does he do for the Bears? He's in camp right now. My brother. Your brother does what? What does he do? He works for the team. What does he do? He is, uh, he's the guy, so you're going to get mad at him, or yeah. you're going to be happy with him. No, I might be he's mad the guy him. that helps uh, facilitate whether they challenge or not, whether they kick. Oh, with, oh, 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 you're talking about in game time. He's like a game manager type. He, you know, he's, uh, he works with Eberflus very closely. What is it, where did he come from? I don't know what I, you know. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I mean, you can say whatever say. you want. Right? What? No, but he, uh, it's not a secret. It's not the it's CIA. Not, right? No, no, no. But he was in Miami before. Yeah, he was helping Flo. Was he a coordinator of some kind? Is that what they would call him? No, I don't know what they would even call him. It was like game ops, I think. Yeah. And okay. Right. So, but he was like, but he special teams is what you're saying, right? Nah, it was like game management. It's all like timeouts, kicking, when to kick, when to call a timeout, what you know, uh-huh. uh, down and distance. What are we gonna do here? All situational. Where did stuff. he play? So he didn't. My brother was sleeping on my couch. I was going to open mics and doing stand up, and my brother was sleeping on my couch, telling me he wants to be an NFL GM. No way. And I'm like, and I remember we'd have these hilarious conversations. Like he'd be like, you know, out of college, trying to figure shit out. Penn State too. No, Michigan. So love. So I love Ann Arbor. Great so he he goes to Michigan and he played lacrosse. He was a lacrosse player. He had the bra- he had the brains. Ah. Michigan's not a dummy school. It's not a dummy school. Not like Penn State and Arizona State. No, my Penn friend. State, Arizona State. You These know, are dumb guy schools. I, whenever Michigan, you got to be you got to be a, at least a B plus student. I agree, and they've done a good job branding that the Michigan man thing. Why well, you, th- you think it might be just a little bit of a ruse? You I think, think it's a little bit of a ruse. A I dumb think, guy can get into Michigan. I think a dumb guy can get into Michigan, but I think that they have good business school. They have good graduate programs. Right, and and they have a law school. They have really good law. So school. that like so I think that and they talk their own. They. They talk up their own, you well, know. The, they're isolated. the Michigan man thing, yes. you know. I, you know, Penn State. When someone's like proud of a Penn State degree, I'm like, okay, you're delusional, you know. Yeah. Like I'm like, no one's reading that. Unless I, I think you did like pre-med Penn State, pre-med, and then you went somewhere but, else. Yeah, but who's doing that? Like, well, yeah, but if you I'm do, then no one cares, them. right? No, no, but then somebody goes, I did, where'd you go to med school? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then somebody goes, a oh, Penn State pre-med, but then I ended up, you know, over at uh, at Berkeley med. Right. Oh wow! Oh my I, God! Yeah. I wow. had that happen when I was like trying to work in New York, and like I was an econ major. In college, so I'm like mm. trying to go to New York. Uh, you know, like oh look at that. That was a you Jews face. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you keep saying it. You keep just <laughs> taking the words from my brain, you, throwing it out. You there. met an agent that had. I'm gonna the blow your mind. Friedman. Tell you that I'm Jewish. I, uh, it's gonna blow your I mind. I would shit my pants right on the camera. <laughs> um, so I, um, your brother went to went to Michigan. So he goes to Michigan and he sleep on my couch. He went to grad school, so he played lacrosse at St. John. So he's wow. a good lacrosse player. Yeah, and he he's like sitting on my couch. He's like. You know, what if I like became a janitor for like the dolphins and work my way up? Like he was like saying shit, like doing the like Goodwill hunting yeah. scripts. Yeah. And I'm like, dude. And there was a point he was on my couch for a long time, and I like came in the apartment one day. And it was a small like they call it a junior one bedroom. This so is in Manhattan. In Manhattan on the Upper East Side, and I go, dude. Upper East Side, by the way. 
Look at now he's making Jewish faces. I can see it. <laughs> this guy doesn't stop Dude, with the anti-Semitism. You keep doing you're it. You're in Hollywood. You keep That's doing it. That's how I know you uh, your own business. You're off God the, bless. You're, you're on your own pirate ship. God bless. <laughs> so so I, Upper East Side, he's living on the junior couch. And then you say, you gotta, I go, you gotta get out. There's too many dreams in this apartment. Yeah, that's right. You gotta get out of here. Yeah. Like, I'm freaking out. I got my own life I'm worried about. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Santino won't have me on his podcast. I'm right. like, you know, going crazy. Gotta rub those nickels together. Right. Till the, is... till the dream comes true. One day. So he... <laughs> So then he goes on his way and like, you know, he really works so hard and he was like a, you know, he was a temp and at the NFL offices and then he works his way over to Miami somehow and then he's, you know, and then it, by way of whatever, like it's his story is as crazy as any of ours. Like, yeah. you know, like, oh, this 30 things happened to like lead him to Brian Flores who he's like really close with and. But no know, on-field experience. Not a minute. Not even high school football. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, no. He's captain of like the high school team. Like, high school, he, but no. He's an athlete. No like, college he, football, though. No college football. I said this is why the Bears are bad. What? No, he was we'll brought right in. Back. We'll be right back. <laughs> 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 I got to defend this season. I, no, no, no. We are going to be better this year, without a doubt. Absolutely no. I catch a lot of shit, and I'll I've talked about it, but I catch a lot of shit because. I have a couple of friends that play for another team, and I support the other team. And so I get what a lot team? of heat. The Chiefs. So, and I get a lot of heat from fans. That's an AFC, Chicago NFC. guys get so mad. They're like, I thought you were a fucking Bears fan. Well, it's like, right, right, well, let me tell you right. something. First of all, I am a diehard Chicago fan. I will be till I'm dead. But I've lived here for fucking 16 years. At some point, you, you, you become a fan of sport. Well, Instead of, is, like, you're like, I just want to watch what I can watch. This is how people talk when they move away and they... You don't have a choice. And when they do bigger things than stay at home. You know, these are your home friends that, like, well, and, the, and you get... Again, yeah. this is where the Chicago-Boston thing is, like, very alike. Where yeah, it's like, yeah. you moved away, you got other things going on. Like, every day when you're in Chicago, the news is... Chicago sports, yeah. Chicago sports, Chicago... Boston, the same way. It's like, it's like a college. It's like being an ASU. Yeah. It's like being a Penn State. So, like, I understand that where they're, like, in it. And, like, I, you know, you go to, like... You've done shows in Buffalo. Like, I went and did a show in Buffalo. They're like, where, they're like you're not a Buffalo Bills fan? And yeah. you're like... Yeah, people live other places on this earth. Yeah. You know that, right? You guys could also leave whenever you want. Right, <laughs> and they <laughs> don't know that. So it's so it's like hovering over them. It's the, it's the whole they're environment. They're in the Truman Show up there. Yeah, right. they're stuck. They're and like... I actually envy that a little bit. It's like fun it's to beautiful. be able to. Yeah. But we lo we lost that boyhood wonder. Well, because we travel so much, we have to we live we live like nomads. I mean, right. like, you know, I I'm home, you know, this year I think I've equated it's August now. Mm. I think I've been home no joke. I think we did the math, and it was just maybe two months of like of this entire year, uh, uh, day wise, uh, right. day wise, like in a total an accumulation of days at home. So I'm not far months, away so from you. We're not there. It's just yeah. like we're not. That's why when people are like, uh, "Are you staying in L.A.? Are you, are you, are you in New York?" I kind of am going to as many things as I can. I'm just figuring it all out because I've ne I have been at home so little now that I'm like, I don't know, is what's home now? Right. So that's why we become disconnected with stuff. It's tough. Also, you get to know the players. You you go, I know these two guys. They're I know, good, yeah, they're buddies. And they're Sorry. buddies now. Well, and, and it's and, like, how am I going to like, I that's skin in the game. Like when I see a challenge for the Bears, I'm like out of my chair screaming. It's fa That's family, oh, yeah. It's like, I'm like, because I'm a Patriots fan, but I'm like done. Like my, I'm I'm a you fan of the. Had, you retired. You, I'm out. I'm a fan of the era. Yeah. Like I'm a Brady fan. When Brady goes to Tampa, you go, oh, what am I doing here? Like I, I, you know, I well, love Tom Brady. You can't follow Brady. him. No. I can't follow him now. Like I don't know. Like I, you know, it, it's you had the moment. I don't know. I'm like a fan of like a very specific. Well, and then someone would be like, oh, fair weather fan because like the er, you know the era. But it was such a fun era. It was such a you know. Now it's like a little bit. I still watch. You're you know, also still, how old are you now? 38. 38, right. You're 38. 30, and I'll be 40 soon. 40? Yeah. I know. Yeah, your, your special is called 38. 37 and single. 37 and single. We might I have did, to change it. it. Well, it's coming out when I, you know, it's a snapshot of my life at December 2022. Well, but still, man, we got to change it. Oh, we got you? Yeah, we have to. It's out right now, by the right. way. For people that are watching, if you, if you want to watch something on Netflix, if you want to actually laugh and you don't want to watch these trash specials, Jared said... Tell them to not watch the garbage shit like Norman or yeah, Segura. Yeah, no, 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 those guys, are, he hates those no, no, guys. No, no, they're horrible. You want to watch somebody, 
really rip it. 37, 37 and single. 37 and single. 37 That's and single is out special. on Netflix right now. Right now. Go watch it. But yeah, no, I, I but loved I, yours. Thank you, dude. I watched. Cheers. Loved it. You taped in Boston. I taped in uh, Denver. Denver? Yeah. Looked a lot like the Wilbur. But I love Boston, and I play the Wilbur every time I go there. It did have, a, it actually does kind of feel like the Paramount Theater is where I shot it in Denver. Uh, Timmy Dillon did the same same thing, except uh, uh, different uh, different uh, crew set it up. So it actually mm. looks like a different stage completely. Which I think is so funny. It's like you can transform any stage to look like where, I mean, nowadays. Set design. Nobody you know, knows. No one a... No one would even know where. I could have lied and been like, we're in Denver. We could have been right. here. Nobody would have yeah, known. Yeah, you could have been in this room. I know. <laughs> where did you, where'd you shoot this? Uh, the Gramercy Theater in New York. Oh, I love the Gramercy Theater. New York Theater. City. Two shows. I, I made it. You know, did the whole I paid for it thing, and then you, we yeah, went you did it yourself. Did it myself, and then went out to all the players, and Netflix came back. You know, uh, after a while, and I'm like, you know, I'm, I, I don't know. I didn't. Ex I was like kind of surprised. I I've had nothing out there. Like I did one Tonight Show once, but I've never had like, you know, some people. You know, I was talking to Norman. He's like, I had to do the half hour. I had to do a YouTube special. I had to I do, do so this. much. Yeah, I had to do all. To yeah, me. you know, a comedy. You know, like, and then you go. I'm like sitting there being like, why won't someone buy the special? And then they buy it. I'm immediately like, what the fuck are they doing? Why buying are they this? Buy this <laughs> special? You go yeah. immediately change. So I'm excited for it. hasn't come out yet, but I'm like, I know I did it on the road for you know a year and a half, and good. It's like, and again, if you like, if you're out there and single and you're frustrated with being single, it doesn't matter how old you are, you're gonna like it. You know, you're, you're still single. I'm still single. I'm still out there fishing, um, huh? Yeah, what I, do you, you know, want? What do you want? I want to. I want to get married. I, like you want to get married? Oh yeah. I, I. You know. I like. I. I have moments where I see comedians who are doing it, mm -hmm. and and I go. I like. I can see the lifestyle. Like I. You know. I'm from the suburbs. You know. Like I. Yeah. I, I. You know. My. I love my family. I like hanging out with them. I like our dynamic. I mean, that's part of it too. Like you got uh, nieces, nephews, and that. No, thing? my brother's engaged. So like, he, it's what just, is his age? He's thirty four. He's a little bit young. okay. He's so younger. he's four years younger, and he's engaged. And have your parents she's great. done that thing where they make an ear? They're like, "When are you gonna?" My parents are like, "They don't I, care. I, they like hanging. Like they don't we care. hang. You know, yeah. like we go on vacation with them and stuff. And nice. like, you know, they care, but they don't care. You know, like they don't care, but they yeah. care. You know, it's like one of those things. Yeah, they like it to happen, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not right. Gonna... But also, don't ruin the party. Don't bring in someone that we're like not. And that's the problem. Well, at this age, I don't that's think a, that's going to happen. You're too old to bring in a, uh, someone that's going to ruin the vibe. Because right. now you're looking at, let's be honest. Right. You're looking at women that may have already had a marriage, may have a kid. I think that's like my, I, I think already married, no kid is probably like a good wheelhouse. Already me. married, no kid. Yeah. What about already married with a kid? You don't um, want to be a stepdad? I don't know You've if got, that you would could be, be a my good lifestyle. Stepdad. I, I'm sure I would. I, yeah. I, I like the I way think, you walked in. I thought that could be a stepdad. Totally. Yeah. Your hey, date positivity. Is stepdaddy. Yeah. yeah. I got a stepdad. Yeah, happy. Vibe. You're jovial. Right. You're I got upbeat. Yeah. Like I'm like, let's have some whiskey at seven thirty. That's morning. exactly like, right. I, yeah. Well, that's well, a stepdad. The conversation we had was very stepdad. Like you, you go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm fifty fifty on whiskey, and I go. If I got excited, would you be in? You're I like, said, I yeah. Could. And I go. Let's fucking do well, it. Well, then fire yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah, now we're in. So it's got to be it's got to be a woman and let's put it out there right now. There's basically a dating show at this point. Let's put it out there. <laughs> let's get you let's get you loving no, your No, this is the this is not a good way to meet people. Blonde brunette? I like I mean Jewish. This is the other thing. Like, you know, I'm a uh, Yuck. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I'm just fishing the anti-Semitism out. All right, so look, you're You're going to be stuck in this apartment building forever. <laughs> so you know, ABC is done. I'm telling little Dicky. <laughs> no. <laughs> please, Dave, no. So what? You're so you're a brunette 54. Yeah. Sure. It's going to be uh, you have no choice. There's no how many. Uh, you know, you get a couple of tall Jewish women, but no, 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 no. I'm so not. brunette five two to five four. That's your goal, sure. right? Sure. Yeah. She was already married. Already she got married. married young, didn't she? Married young. It didn't work out. He was an asshole. She. The, I need the bloom to be off the rose. You know, like right. I think like the best. Like I always like I love the Bachelor Bachelorette. I was like, I know I see this on online. You post a lot about it. A lot about it. You post a lot about people it. people. I mean, it could I, a piece people. of me thinks you might be involved in it. No, no, you know, no, you know, you know, you know when you see something and you go, is this guy getting? Uh, yeah, how much slid money is something <laughs> because he, yeah because people you, come to shows from it. You I know, know because you like it more than I think you would. Right, right, which right. makes me go. Is what's he getting, what's is the he getting deal? Slid what's a couple it? of bucks. Right. No, I. Uh, Why are you so invested? 
I just I because I, I you know just like podcasts and stuff like I was like oh this is like my own show. But you love you genuinely. Enjoy I, I love it. reality TV. So like, that's the difference. That I'm saying is like some people watch it. They go, I oh, fuck it, I'll watch it once in a while. Like Spade, he does a version of it. We've like messaged a little bit about it. Right. And he, him, and I both like he'll like look at. So when I started yelling at the TV while I watch it, people are like, oh, David Spade does the thing, and but he doesn't like need to do it. You know, so right. he does like two slides, and then he probably like goes and he doesn't you know, need to do anything. Falls into a bed of money. You right. know, like so. Yeah. I I just like. And I've tried to like you know message him to be like, and he doesn't respond. He's responded a couple times. He's been nice. Um, but has, was it nice or was it like uh, a very quick throwaway? I mean, response at all to me. I'm See, like, that's that's a nice way to think about it, right? Well, but you, I'm calling him out. You know, Spade, go ahead, Spade. Give your you know give, give invite your, me on the podcast. Give yourself away a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Open up a little bit, kiddo. He's so closed off. This guy is he? It's real quick responses. No, he's great. Oh, no, no, I Spade. great. He's one of those people that like. You know, I'm not an L.A. person. Like, I, I come here when I come here, and I get, sure. like, drunk in the back of the store, and I don't even, like, go on. Like, Love I that. just, like, watch and, like, fly on the wall type shit. And he, I when I saw him go on stage, I was like, holy fuck, like, this guy's the man. Like, well, it's I funny. Like, we have the same response when we go to New York. There's guys there that I that I just love to go see. Right. That obviously locals are to see all the time anyway. But it feels the same for us. We just have right. more, like, you know, Hollywood guys that are cool to see, like a, like a Spadey's cool to see, or like, you know, if like a, yeah, I'm trying to think of like who drops in that people, I mean, you know. But even his, his just, his jokes, I was like, oh, he's naturally just like Very funny. funny. Like, yeah. I, I was like, I was like, you just don't know what to expect. You yeah. know, like you see, like, I had that with like, you know, you, those famous people, you're not like sure if they're like just getting up because they're famous or if they're actually right. like funny. Well, that's kind of been that's kind of been sifted out a little bit. A little bit of the like uh, fame panic, go to stand up thing. I think has slowly faded away. A lot what of do guys you mean? don't do. Well, I think it, there was a gold rush for like famous people to try to do stand up, oh. and then I think now they now know, it's TikTokers. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> well, yeah, fuck yeah. I mean, oh my god, that's yeah. that's making the mo- probably more money than everybody we know. Yeah, but they're captivating an audience that uh, wasn't going to be fans of you or me anyway. That's kind of how I feel. If you're a, right. if you're exclusively making it on TikTok. Good for you. I don't fucking whatever. Gra- grab the grab the fans you can grab. Right. You're well, grabbing. You're grabbing bachelor fans and turning well that, them into hardcore. Well, this comedy is fans. the Kardashian thing. Yeah. How do we take people from one thing to another? Yeah. That leads them to like what I love doing. And you love to watch the show. Do you watch it with somebody? Just on my own. You it's watch the by saddest yourself. thing in the yeah, world. It like really it's is me in my sad. apartment, a studio apartment, yelling at the TV. Were studio still on the Upper East Side? No, I'm down in West Village now. Um, yeah, things Someone, are doing that well. Netflix deal things came are, through. Yeah, so you're okay. in the West Village now. Yeah, and I yell at the TV, and right. then it go in. I'm like redoing lines, but I do it live with the show. Right. So it's the live scream. So live like scream. I I yell at the TV and I. And it's really what I like is that it'll be like because my the people that like me are generally women, so I have like like eighty six percent women is wow. like my following. Eighty six. Yeah, because I've been doing dating advice for all this all, all these years. But don't you find that ironic? You're giving dating advice, but you're right. not really laced up. Bill Belichick never played the NFL. But, you know, he's but, the best he, coach of all but time. But he played college football. Not like my brother. That's right. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, there's one more thing. step. That's right. all it takes. Well, you know what it is? I, I talk about my life, yeah. and, and I what ends up happening is I'm saying, if I'm thinking this, I'm probably 10% away from the guy that you're dealing with. Uh, so with dating stuff, it's like, here's what's going on. Like, I got a question earlier. She's like, I and, and what ends up uh, happening is, like, it's not as extreme as people... You know, dating advice on TikTok online is all extreme. Like, you better go get your man. Yes, yeah. queen. Yeah. And it's like, mine's always just been like very diet and exercise, you know, like very boring. You know, like, and I go, like today I got a question. The girl was like, I broke up with this guy. We broke up and he hasn't watched my stories in two months. What's the deal? Mm. And I'm like, think of it from his side. Like, he's not a monster. He's not calculated. How old, are, how old are these women that ask you this kind of stuff? Uh, the average age is like 27 to 40. Like, it's like in that, like 27, 35. Like, you know, yeah. they're like single. They want to like find a relationship. They're trying to figure out, you know, mm. these are successful women too. Like, they're like, when I, my shows are like, it's like 10 women sitting at a table that are all like doing great jobs, doing really well, being like, how is this dating thing not fucking working out? Or it's working out for one of them or five of them, and then there's like a few single women that listen to the podcast, or they just enjoy The Bachelor. It's so. because, you know why I think it's from an outside perspective? Sure. Why I see it from my friends, like a lot of my good friends that are single? I think it's, it, dating used to be in and out. 
In and Out Burger. It used to be the menu. Mm. It's it's a burger with cheese, burger without fries. Sure. You, that's it. So right. now it's fucking Cheesecake Factory, and there are way too many options, and I, you're, and it's way and it changes all the time, and they're allowed right. to slip and slide into new versions of the <laughs> menu, and it's like there's no rules. Everyone's uh, non-binary. Every, like, and I'm not saying that like an old man. Like, I'm not like a dad. I'm saying it's too much. Everything. There's too. You're giving it's too much. There's so many options, yeah. and there's so much freedom, and there's no there's no barriers, which is a positive thing for the growth of society. Let people do whatever they want, be whatever they want. Fine, but I, I from an outside perspective, from an mm. ignorant outside perspective, it looks the way I feel. When I see them, it looks the way I feel when I go to a place and they're like, we have everything you want. And you're like, well, I don't want fucking any of it. Right. I just want either a cheeseburger. Just give me something fries. simple. It's well, what the fuck. To, to agree with you, uh, let me direct you towards uh, what I, what I agree me. with. Um, there's so much that you form these opinions that you get stuck in. Mm. So like I talk about the first 10 minutes of the special is just like me being frustrated, but knowing I'm the problem. Yeah. You and I are the Google generation. We look yeah. at the menu before I well, we go. So it's great that you bring up Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, I want to see it. You want to see the menu. You want to make sure that what everything they got? comfy, cozy. I'm right. not walking into a party unless I know who going to be there. Yeah, and you who's know, not going to be and, there. And, right. Because that'll want... make me go even more. Exactly. Mark's not going. I'm fucking going. <laughs> That's that what guy you said before pisses me off. Yeah. I don't know what it was. <laughs> so I, that happens with dating because then you get on the dating apps especially. To push the stores, dating apps, you're looking at a profile and you're going, fucking Jersey City. Yeah, I'm not going to Jersey City. You, you know, you're too going. Far. That's me going to Santa Monica. Right, this I get is, it. and this is a perfectly good person. Right, you know, you're going, and if you met him in a bar, you'd go, you'd have a vibe, and you go, wow, this person and I, and there's no one else there. There's no swipe to get to the next person. Right, you're in a bar, and you're going, you know what, this person's awesome, and they go, I'm from Jersey City. You go. I could do Jersey City, you know, because you're there. Because you're there, and you feel them. Right. So, you know, we, you know, and what happens is, you and I are social guys. Yeah, I okay? want to be out. You want to be out. I like talking to the people. Here's the thing: these apps were created by male nerds. They yeah. don't want to go out. No, so they we're stay now in their reverting towards nerdum. Right. You know, and it's like, you know, but again, the crutch is there. Like, I don't want to get turned down. That you know, the best way to not get turned down is going to dating out. You never yeah. get told no. Yeah, you, you just, just keep moving. Swipe left, no. Swipe right, where's the match? Ah, I guess they haven't seen me yet. Well, then how about putting it away and just going out? But the crutch is there. I, again, like the phone, What do you, you ever go to a bar alone? You want a lone bar guy? Yeah. I love a lone bar. Yeah, I do it all the time. What do you do? You take out your phone. No. Never? No. How do you not take out your phone when you go Because I don't even need to be, I don't know what I'm on it for. I, I don't know what I'm on it for. But I'm if you're honest. at a bar alone and you're swiping through an app, a dating app. It's crazy. I... You're at a bar at a bar. Right. You're going to another bar while at a bar. When yeah. you swipe on a dating app sad. at a bar. It's it's sad. But a drinking listen, at a we're bar. We're all guilty of it. When you're you're married, you, yeah. you your married friends are like, it's so easy. It, you know, this is, I mean, this is in the special. If you're connecting with this conversation, this is like what it's all about in the first like 15 minutes. It's like. If you're, it, it, you're, you're single, you're married friends, and I'm at that age where you would be the age of my married friends. Yeah. And it's so, they're like, it's simple. You know, like, they're right. like, and they're like, well, I want to play with your Tinder. I want to play with your Hinge, you know, and they go, well, it's stupid. She's cute. Go. And you're like, yeah, but I don't want to go. You know, like, I, I, I'm I fucking I see this all the time with yeah. friends that are like, say something funny, and then I'll respond for a buddy, give it back, and he's like, oh, this is great. And then they engage, and I'm like, well, why don't you keep going? And they're like, nah, fuck it. Right. Thing. This, I mean, and you go, ah, I can go sit home, masturbate, and fucking sit on my couch. Too easy. And you go, well, and then, like, your married friends are all like, if I was out there, I'd be out there fucking. And no, like, I mean, I don't no, think No, you that. wouldn't. I don't think as... if I was out there, out there, but I do think everyone knows what you're saying at this point, particularly in your age range. So yeah. delete the fucking app. Well, that's the thing. I'm, I'm like it. off of them. Um, but delete them all. Do it. I dare you to fucking delete all of them. I mean, they're deleted. Them and try it. No, I... I, I oh, they're I, gone. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm like... Are they on your phone right now? I, I got one, but I... Delete it right now. Delete it live on the show. In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. Hey, if you ever searched your name on a search engine, uh, you know, you'd be shocked at how much of your personal information is getting pushed around the internet. Your full legal name, email, home address, phone numbers... A lot of stuff can be easily found on, uh, online, and it's not just you know true for you. It's friends and family and everybody that you know. That's why Aura is here. Aura uh, is incredible. Um, they are an all-in-one online safety solution that helps protect you and your family from identity theft, financial fraud, online threats before they happen. 
with Aura, you can rest easy knowing that someone is looking out for you. Somebody got your back over there at Aura. If you're a victim of ID theft, if you've done, if you've gone through this before, which I've had a couple of friends have the uh, unfortunate experience of having identity theft, uh, they have White Glove Fraud Resolution Team is going to help you navigate credit bureaus, help you initiate credit freezes or locks, and work with you around the clock to resolve it. It's a nightmare. It's a pain. Um, they also reduce uh, those robocalls, telemarketers, and junk mail by sending takedown requests on your behalf regularly because, man, oh, man, am I sick, sick and tired of seeing uh, scam likely or, uh, you know, telemarketer pop up on my phone. It literally tells you that. They're like, someone's calling to sell you something. They offer a suite of tools to protect you and your loved ones, including real-time alerts on suspicious credit activity, computer virus protection, parental controls, a VPN, and a password manager. It's uh, a comprehensive online safety solution that provides almost every tool you'll ever need all in one place. You're looking to get uh, some help protect yourself and your loved ones for a limited time. Aura is offering our listeners a 14-day trial plus a check of your data to see if your personal information has been leaked online. All for free when you visit Aura.com slash whiskey. That is Aura, A-U-R-A dot com slash whiskey to sign up for a 14-day free trial and start protecting you and your loved ones. That's Aura.com, A-U-R-A dot com slash whiskey. Certain terms apply, so be sure to check the site for details. Summertime is coming to a close very soon, but it doesn't mean you can't still live in that summertime vibe, baby. That's why I'm here to tell you about Raycon. Raycon is the best way to listen to your tunes or podcasts or whatever you got inside of your ear holes. Uh, these Raycon earbuds are incredible. They got noise isolation and awareness mode. They got a 32-hour battery life, including eight hours of playtime. You can listen to what you want, when you want, for a really long time. They come with custom gel tips to insert inside of your a little personalized ear. And they start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. Raycon earbuds are incredible. They come with a 30-day happiness guarantee. Try it out for a month uh, so you really can't lose. What do you got to lose? I've been uh, using these Raycons to run with, which is great because uh, those custom tips, they fit comfortably in my ear. They don't fall out when I run. That's why I dig them. Uh, whether you're somebody that likes to listen to tunes or podcasts or anything at the beach, uh, Raycon is durable, sleek, sexy, and cool. Uh, and they also last a very long time. 32-hour battery life is very impressive, including eight hours of playtime. What else do you need in an earbud at a fraction of the cost of those overtly expensive uh, earbuds that are on the market right now? You want to put some tunes uh, inside of your head. Uh, might as well use Raycon for a great price, and they sound phenomenal. Create your own soundtrack with Raycon. Right now, Whiskey Ginger listeners are going to get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash whiskey. That's buyraycon.com slash whiskey to save 15% off on Raycons. Buyraycon.com slash whiskey. Listen up. Enjoy. Ginger. I like gingers. On the show. Delete the fucking app and and do the thing that you really want to do. And then how Santino, about this? And a woman, we just met. You don't like and Jews. a young I Jewish can't. woman that's listening right now. <laughs> see him delete this app. Know that he's a good man. Know that he's definitely not going out to Jersey City. The, I, right? I, 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 Although you in, are downtown, you're. Fi- I mean, you're you're pretty. You're that's pretty what, easy. Again, such a married guy thing to say. Well, you're not on the Upper East single Side pe- anymore. No, single people go. I'm not leaving Manhattan. I you. I am not. That's crazy. Right? This is the. I'm the pro. I'm not saying I'm not the problem. Yeah, you are the problem. That's bad. Uh, it's bad. What but, if the love of your life is in is in Long Island? And by the way, living it. She, she is. She, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to. I don't know how to tell you, but she is. <laughs> She's out there right now. Pretty high percentage. Yeah, very high. She's sitting there She's having there a schmear. She's there now. Yeah. But what are you gonna do? You're gonna. You can't be. You can't be the guy that's. That does the thing. That's like it's gotta come to me. The fish have no, to come. No, you no, know, you're me. right. No, 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 no. I listen. I am someone who goes on dates. I've gone. I go. On, I go on the first date. I do the thing. Yeah. Get the drinks. I'm not the. I'm definitely not the person. Like, do you make them pay? You make them do half on they, the first one? They better pay for me. Treat me like a lady. That's no, what I was just going to say. I, no, I, I'm i a payer. You pay every time. Oh, absolutely. See, if I was single now, I, I, would, feel good I would 100% about be like, you do this one. No, you would not. Yeah, I would. Because I had nothing to lose. wouldn't let you. If I'd have nothing to lose. If I've already gotten out of a marriage, if I've already done this thing, I'm going to go, I don't give a fuck They're, about this. <laughs> you pay. And you know what? I'm going to make you're them pay. You're too much of a guy. I'm you're gonna you're make from pay. Chicago. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to let the woman pay? Yeah, dude. I, Make these, make these ladies no, pay up. I, I was, it's funny. I was coming back. Because um, I paid for everything now. I was with someone and, we, and and she, she and I were, 
we're stuck. We have no way home. Okay. Flights canceled, train. Where whatever. are you stuck? Can you say where you're stuck? Uh, Hyannis. We're in Hyannis, okay, yeah. Massachusetts, and and uh, a long time ago. And uh, she's like, "Let's get a U-Haul." Get a U-Haul. Yeah, because there's no rental. Oh right. To right, drive right. to New York, and I go smart actually. I go, it's a great idea, and I was like, oh, and she drives. I haven't driven in five years. You don't know how to drive. I know how to drive. I mean, you have a license? Yeah, of course. But, but you, don't, you haven't had a car in it's forever. It's been forever. I'm in New right. York City, whatever. Yeah, what do you need it for? And then she was like, well, I'll drive. And I'm like, I go, and I had to look at her and go, like, this is like what I'm talking about, like the paying for the date. Mm. Like, I go, I know this is like not right. or ra- This is irrational. You drive every day. You have a license. You have a car. I'm driving. I want to crash this U-Haul. I will crash. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. <laughs> how, if it crashed. My dad would be like, "Where the fuck were you?" I was asleep. Was I was on. I was on Instagram yeah. in the passenger seat. I was scrolling. Right. I said to her, "I go. I. 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 I, I go. This isn't right. Or I just need to be a man right now." And I go, "I don't care what the fuck." What did she say? She was cool with it. Totally wet. R- soaking. She's like, "Oh my god, soaking. you drive me. I love my legs up the whole time." Right. That was uh, that was her response. I've right. never been wet. <laughs> <laughs> I've. I have to change my pants. Did in the you guys back hook up U-Haul. with the back of the U-Haul? No, you know you're. You it's doing? so funny. Guys Get a blanket. Are amazing. Get Every a guy I've told that story to. You fucking the U-Haul. Well, especially because she f- is, was turned on by the idea of you kind of. That taking came out over. later. I mean, I'm joking, but that came out li- later. It was oh. like, it was like that. I, I love that if she was, she was, she was like, that's kind of hot that you took over. It. She said that to me, and then I would have said those boxing blankets back there that they include. <laughs> they include those boxing blankets. I know what they are. Dude. Right. I had a U-Haul many a times. You lay I've laid on, the on them, not as uncomfortable as they look. I uh, see. Every guy probably assumes you might hook up in the back, not because it's like a gross fantasy. Who's this random woman? This is a girl you're dating. This would have been a hot moment in time. It would have been hot. This is like pull over on the side of the road and hook up type of shit with someone. See, now I'm not less of a man than I thought I was. See, I, like, I, I'm like, sitting here being like, "What uh, the fuck is wrong with one me?" One time, uh, one time, my girlfriend picked me up from the airport, and I said, "You know, we never." do like a random hookup like, roadhead it, I, I, I was alluding to it a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. you we, know i was like we i never mean what did... else could you be alluding to well i mean we never like fuck in a weird place one right. random at night you, you guys know? have kids no no kids do you want kids sure you want to help mean, sure you want to help yeah come on over man coach what? me cheer me on dude i'll be in no the we've back. tried for I'll we've be... tried we've tried we're also older now so it's a little bit harder it's so a little bit trying. slower kind of yeah, are kinda. you doing uh, anal half the time and yeah. regular the other half? I, I, so, I like that. It's a fifty-fifty shot. Yeah, you got to make sure that you do <laughs> yeah. all the holes. This was years and years ago, but we we pulled over on the side of the road at uh, uh, Kenneth, uh, uh, Kenneth 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 uh, Kenneth Thirty Rocks. Damn, Kenneth? Kenneth Han is that what it's called? It's a rec park. It's like a rec park <laughs> down by the airport, and we fucked on really? the side of the road, and it was one of the hottest one of the hottest moments. How quick how, in our how, how, how quick? No, we went ham. It was great because it was really? dark. It was at night. Oh, so it was like a little. It was at night. Yeah, she picked me up at the airport like eleven o'clock at night. I was coming back from like an East Coast run, Ex- and I remember being like, "I'm awake. Like I'm fucking. Buzzing. I'm ready to go." Also, smashing fly, in the after back a flight, of the you're Hyundai. a little horny. Yeah, very horny after. Yeah, a flight. after a flight, I I I whack it. I I go hat trick right away, huh? When I get home, <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. No way. Now, how did you the positioning? Back seat. So you go in the back, what type of car? Hyundai Sonata at the time. Hyundai Sonata. That's what I was driving back in the day. You got to tell people a different car when you tell this. No, story. no, no, no. I was a young man. And dude, I'm a man of the people. What do you want me to say? Ferrari? What the fuck? Ferrari. What do you, you want me to go, fake you it? You go from Sonata to a Ferrari? Give some me us, some something. Of us, Jared, Land some, Rover. Some of us do go to Sonata to Ferrari, baby. <laughs> See you guys on the road. No, we were in a, in a Hyundai Sonata, baby. And you know what? Uh, that the face humility you just made it was as funny as your <laughs> I hate juice face. <laughs> this is my I hate juice face. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I saw it. How much is it? What? Uh, <laughs> Hyundai Sonata, man. That was From my New Jersey. That was my first car in L.A. A Hyundai Sonata. Really? Yeah, Hyundai. That's the only thing I. The could car afford. thing here is wild to me. Like, just well, well, we need the them. leveling of people. I know, but like the way you get phylumed by your car. I had a bunch of buddies move out here. Um, right after college, we had like a group of our like buddies yeah. that were out in Long Beach. That's where I first moved. Man- when I moved Manhattan here. Beach. Not Long. No, Manhattan well, Beach or Long. Two different places. They were in Manhattan Beach. Okay, that's yeah. where all they all lived. Okay, and that, I was like, this is how you live. Like this. Well, is that's saved fa- by the that's fancy shit. down there. Yeah, fancy. But they were all very like 
what car we get. Like the car thing was a thing. Well, here's the deal. I I, I understand. I'm a car guy, so I'm kind of the wrong audience because I uh, I am a car guy. Big big big. Car do you guy. have uh, what are you sharing uh, a garage with Jay Leno? What's going on? We don't share it. It's his, but I do yeah. park there. Yeah, you got a couple of cars. In no, there. <laughs> no, he. But no, I I'm a big car guy. But I've always loved cars since I was a kid and. Uh, out here, you're the most Illinois person I've ever met in my entire oh, yeah, life. Yeah, Chicago. This guy. is like Chicago. We love cars. My father worked in the automotive world too, so it was just kind of like. What did he do? He worked well for a long. He did multiple jobs, but he worked for the longest time. This is my stepdad? Okay. Uh, he worked for, uh, for the longest time. Worked for Turtle Wax, and we've talked bad about Turtle Wax on this show. Uh, don't buy Turtle Wax; they're trash. Throw okay. it down the toilet. <laughs> They fired my dad after like 30 some odd years. Really? Yeah, loyal employment. Yeah, they were bad. They they sold the company. The kids took it over. This is what happens when kids take over the thing. They fuck it all That's up. Right. Well, they, they say first generation, it's like 75% chance of going out. Yeah. Uh, or like and uh, after that, it, around, after that, it's like 50 50. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, it drops it, way off. The percentage Well, you crazy. give it to ungrateful kids, they don't know what they've done. They didn't build the thing, right? Too much confidence on third thought they hit a triple, you 100%. know, like it, that's not a good no, recipe didn't. for running right. a company 100%. Yeah, so they, they, but he was he worked for Turtle Wax for a long time and then worked for another company that did uh basically automotive manuals on how to physically build and fix cars. So he was in the car, say, salesman. Sales, yeah. yeah. He was all, he was always in that world, and everybody around him was like, uh, you know, shell guys, Pennzoil guys. Like he, right. everyone he knew was car guys. My dad was never really a car guy. I mean, he liked them, but not the way I was in love with them. I mean, we, I had a photo class. I took a photography class freshman year. You had to take like an alternative. Um, I don't even know what it was called. It was like an alternative class of like, you know. Creative, like an art class. Creative art sciences or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I took photography. I had no interest in it whatsoever. But I thought it'll get me out of school. I'll be able to go get stone and take photos. Mm. And I that, used to take choir. Uh, choir, that was your shit? That was my thing. Can you sing? I can sing. Um, I, I sang. Hit something real, 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 real smooth for me, real fast. <clears throat> I'm off right now. I mean, this whiskey might help. Um, like, hold on. I, I, I was in like the honors choir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But then you, I took it. I four your brother, credits. Brother lacrosse, you choir. I played football in high school. It's all right. Don't, it's okay. Don't Listen, get defensive I'm about it, defensive. dude. You're a choir boy. It's fine. Get me another whiskey, and I'll what? really <laughs> all right, we'll I'll have it out right in this fucking okay, floor. Let's I'll go, show you baby. what kind of choir boy get I am. Get in that fucking stance. <laughs> Three points. Yeah, get down. <laughs> get down. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ala. Oh wow. Well, that was good, right? That was not bad. Someday, I can. I'm a one note guy. You went up and. I, you know, uh, when I do cameos, you do cameos. You're making money on there. I use. I, I kind of fallen out, but I sing Happy Birthday at the end of them, and do I you? really go for it. Now, do you make real happy money? Happy birthday. See, do you Don't hear give that? Away for free. No, no, but I'm, I'm, do you hear that note? Uh, no, no, no. You're not going uh, hard enough. Uh, Too cartoonish. Happy birthday. See how strong that it note is? It sounds like Marilyn, you're the Marilyn Monroe. A little Happy bit. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Are you making real money doing the cameo thing? Not really. It was, for a time, it was fun uh, to do, and then it became like. What do you kinda, charge? Like 100 bucks, I think. It's pretty good. It, no, 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 well, it's, it's economics. You know, like there was a point where I was like, 10 bucks, I, you know, have no confidence. And then I'm like, I'm going to do 50 of these. And then, because when you miss them, you feel like you're burning money. Like mm. it, it does feel like you're lighting money on fire. Like what do you? I get like my Jewish mom on the my corner. Like like corner. Like that's what the the voice in my head is like. You don't need ten dollars. Yeah. You know. And then I'm like fuck. And then and I, you do. I need the ten. But bucks. not anymore. You don't. Yeah, I do. West now you're doing well. Cheap. You're doing well enough. You're fine. Things are okay. But that's why I'm here. I want. You want this. people to watch the special to come see you more. Yeah. That's the whole joke. I want to do the, the theaters. I want to. I got to move up. I, I got a whole new hour. Yet? What? Have you done theaters yet? Some places. You know, Wilbur. Yeah, Wilbur's great. Yeah, theater. that's like hometown Chicago. I did, uh, I did like a music place in Chicago. Yeah, what's uh, the where the where they did the Bears Shuffle? It's it's the, in a weird neighborhood. It the, was a fun room. The but Vic. I, I've done the Vic for my podcast. Wait, you did? Uh, you're talking? Uh, it was a music place more than it was a stand up place. Uh, I want. I want. Um, did you do? Uh, what What do you mean? It was a weird neighborhood. It wasn't a neighborhood I was familiar with. It wasn't like a like. It, was, it, was it in Pilsen? Do you know what Pilsen? No, no, no. Is? no it was Chicago. It wasn't. It was well, like, Pilsen, Chicago. No, it's Chicago. That's south Chicago, south side of Chicago. Uh, was it r a tough neighborhood? No, I just they told me that that's where they taped the Super Bowl shuffle. God, now I have to look. Now it up you gotta. Now, look well, it up. I don't have a choice. I mean, I, I, like... I, I did like one one time. I did a whole week at Zany's and I did fourteen shows. 
one. And downtown or the out. suburbs? The downtown one. It's and phenomenal. I loved it. I had such a fun time. I did theme nights where it was different jokes, different themes. Well, Park I West. Park West. Park West. Wow, that's, that's great. So it was a little weird. Look, I liked that room, but it wasn't a comedy room. It was more of a music space. Yeah, I get that. But I like music. I used to love music spaces. When I first started doing small theaters, I loved like, uh, you know, I like St. Andrews, St. Andrews Hall out in Detroit. That's a music venue. I mean, I sometimes I loved music venues just because, um, I don't know, the, 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 the grittiness of it, a little dirty. I also, what I like about them is the people who work there. Yeah, like they're like they've seen it all to see comedy. Yeah, because they've seen so much. Right, they've seen bands come through with crazy demands, and there's 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 five guys in the band. They've got seven groupies or four people with them, and da-da-da. yeah, comics coming. It's like you and a mic, and they're, they're they, like, this is the easiest shit on earth. They are they can't believe it. Yeah, the, like your riders, like my what's on your rider? Do you have you talked about this here? No, I've never talked about it. What my rider is a like a Jewish woman with an eating disorder. Oh, re- oh, mine's well, it's very absolute peckish? citron, absolute citron. The, the the vodka, yeah, a bottle of absolute citron. This is embarrassing. We need to get that off of there. I I love a flavor of vodka. Absolute citron At, on the rocks with a lime, rocks, <laughs> lime, water, coffee, think bars, protein bars. Yeah, you are like a yeah, you are like a divorced woman. That's me. You're a you're a divorced woman who has got a couple of kids and she's trying to just stay in shape and make it happen. Call me Teresa. But Spank why me. Teresa? <laughs> why vodka? Because you don't like the flavor of vodka. It's dog I, shit. No, the, the absolute citron. I love the flavor. The, that it's chemical vodka. It's citron yeah. doesn't taste like a nice, like a effervescent uh, fruit. It's just it's chemicals inside of chemicals. It slows me down. What are I you like afraid that. of? Of you don't like the brown stuff. I stay away. I mean, I like it here. I like the way we're having it. Yeah. Like, I like this You don't want to drink it at night to have drinks. Right. Yeah, I understand. That's it. Like, I love a dirty martini. Same. I do, I do too. Where do you drink? We were, I, I Are brought you a this... gin martini or a no, 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 vodka guy? I, 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 gin, I can't. I never got in. You don't like the flavoring? It's like trees. Beautiful trees. The <laughs> things that give us life. <laughs> I mean, this to Fair. me is the best stuff that's... I, I, think, I think whiskey is... Uh, Whiskey to me is like the perfect booze to me. Did you do, have you gone to the homeland? Have you done? Oh, yeah. I went and did shows in Dublin. Yeah. And we were just in Ireland not too long ago. Yeah. I love, love, love Ireland. I Ireland. loved it. People were so nice. It felt like Boston. I mean, like the amount of feels like Boston is like. Yeah, they had the level of how many alcoholics are there. So many. Yeah. Um, and everyone Except they don't each beat other. their wives in Ireland like <laughs> you guys do in Boston. That's a Boston <laughs> thing. That's your how thing. How are you going to come after me like this? <laughs> First, the Jews, not my hometown. Well, let me tell you something. The way that Boston has domestic violence is its own. I don't even it's know. its own. Dude, give me some pinnacle. numbers here. Oh, my, 28%. 28% oh, of a, people. Yeah, 28% of marriages end in domestic this violence. This guy disputes. took an improv class. He's so quick with the numbers. It's crazy. 28%, man. It is a, it is a high number. It's sad no ireland i went to ireland i, I toured I around played golf oh i didn't play golf over there i was aren't you wife. a golfer i'm a big golfer yeah look See, around baby no i'm a huge golfer i just didn't play golf because i was with my wife i couldn't be like hey i'll be back i'll be right back but after. isn't that like a so i play golf because des bishop uh comedian who's like huge over there got me in this club oh that's great and i went and played alone with like a caddy that was like his buddy's younger brother yeah and it was like and but every group was like Guy group bucket list. Well, that's what you do. You go right. with guys. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like I, I've done guy trips. That's that's yeah. that's what I like. I couldn't go over there and play alone, or I definitely couldn't go with my wife. I would have to go with. Like Did when I was play? living in Australia, I played a lot by myself. We were I was there shooting a movie for two and a half months. I played every day off. I went to play by myself. Shooting a movie for two and a half months. Yeah, two months and some. Yeah, about two months and some change. So you play every day? No, I mean we shot all the time. I yeah. on my days off. If I had one day off. I was up at 6 a.m. and I would, you know, I would call, uh, I would call, I'd, I'd had someone I know call for me. This guy's living large. Well, you guys don't understand. No, 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 it's not, a, it's not like that. He's it's not. in a Ferrari. It, it, I not, saw it out front. no Ferrari. It's crazy. I the wish. Sonata's no more. Speaking of Ferrari, hey, man, do you want to sponsor me? Uh, no, <laughs> I, I, I would call, have a, a friend call who has connections who was like, you can call, pri- he can call private clubs and go, hey, I've got a guy that's in town. Would Missionary be- in the back. Of the car, not missionary. No chance. No, 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 no chance. No. It was doggy style to start, uh, and then it went. You know, legs over the head, and then it went. Her on yours top. or hers? Uh, both. Okay. Yeah, that's you. Never seen the both? You never seen that? <laughs> the double Y. <laughs> um, that's bumping uglies. That's when it's actually coming from. That's where it's right. called bumping uglies. And then, uh, and then asshole, and, to asshole, asshole, to asshole. 
Uh, but and then I toured around and then played golf on on the day the days I had down and and that was the most peaceful golf I've ever played. I got paired up with good people, met some. Cool the weather people. was beautiful. All that Australia, stuff. Australia, man. What do you you know Australia? It's fucking I've never been. But their boys trips, I do think I want to do more of. I did one with a few people. We went to a place called Bandon Dunes, which for golf guys, it's. See, I don't know. I'm new. I'm trying to learn. Oh my yeah. My parents live in Boca on a golf course. Oh really? Oh yeah. Like, Come on, man. Jews. I know. Yeah, I saw, that was the, the O'Reilly was real the, facetious. Uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, your par- Oh, your parents live in Boca. <laughs> it is somewhat punchline-ish. Yeah. At this point, it's hard to tell people because I love it so much. It's great down there. Unbelievable. No, it's great down there. I it's, love Boca. I love Del Rey. Yeah. Great drinking town. These are great. you I feel like I can't wait to see you when you're retired. I'm excited. To I'm see all. What it I'm looks closer like. to retire at this point. Like I go down there and I'm immediately in. Yeah, you're done. Love it. Love every second. Would you of move it. to Florida? I, I think you lose a lot of drive, you know. No, but I, you go there when you're when ready to slow down. Well, when you slow down, but like I, you know, you I think know, you put it in low gear when you go to Florida, and it's nice. I it's like great. It. I, I I listen. I love every second of it. But I'm like, at, when I leave, I go. I want to like want to come back. Well, yeah, you know? you're still young and vibrant. You still have so much thing. You have still right. home and so many things to do. But I see Florida. Florida scares me because. Uh, I have this romantic relationship with her. I lost my virginity there. We went to where Chicago kids you, vacation. Yeah, you go to the West Coast. You don't want to be around the Jews. That's right. Um, so because that, it's the golf. It's the islands. It's the golf. You know, and, and you don't know the fucking Jews. Well, you we got golf, too. Jews. This is West Coast, Florida, East Coast of Florida. I love we West Coast, now, Florida. Yeah. yeah, I can't. I go to West Coast. I feel out of place. I, yeah. I, and we don't want you there, buddy. Right. It's no. a lot of that. <laughs> no. It's a lot of that. No, the, reason that, the reason it scares me is because I, I know I love drinking, and it mm. is an alcoholic's paradise. Oh, my God. Florida can, is everything you've ever wanted. The drinks they serve you, it's like everywhere is a cheesecake factory. That's right. Everywhere yeah. is just like a... Is Two it, for one. Every, hill, every, everything's a hillstone. Yes. Yeah, just like everything is a big hillstone. Fucking martini. <laughs> you want a yard? You want a yard of beer? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's true. Everything feels like it's built for an alcoholic to kind right. of say goodnight. Absolutely. Like if you had the, this the roads a, are wide. They're so big. <laughs> yeah. You can't crash. Okay. It's impossible to like take a turn. <laughs> Too fast. Dude, I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, because I I we, my dad doesn't drink, but he drives home. I'm like Is he sober? He he just hasn't he had a heart attack and he's like, I'm out. Yeah. Wait, really? 40. F- had a heart attack at 40? Yeah. What kind of lifestyle was he living? Not, you know, I mean, like, we eat, we drink, we, you know, like, as a family. Sure. You know, I think he just was, you know, it wasn't. Is he a, a big was, guy? No, nah, he's like me. We're, we're thick, you know, like, but he was barrel chested guys. You know what it is? It's, it's going to the doctor more than it is. Yeah. If, that's the thing. We don't go, to, you know, the doctor. I don't have a general, I don't have a GP or whatever. I do not have a. I don't have I'm a sure doctor. your wife has like a, a team of ten. Twelve, I think. Yeah. Now. Women ha- like will know every name of every doctor, have a relationship. Well, they don't have a choice, man. They have way more things that Right. Do. I'm not saying that I'm yeah. not saying that they shouldn't. I'm saying we yeah. should. We yeah, should I guess know we should. You you're turning forty. You should know who your doctor is. I you shouldn't go to an alley to get I someone get my, put their uh, finger up your ass. I do. I get my uh, I get my asshole checked. I saw checked. the I saw I yeah. saw the special. I get my butthole checked, so I know him very well. Shout out to him. He's one of my best my urologist is my guy, dude. I love that. He's the I one got I know. A, I got my asshole checked um by a woman and I came right away. Uh no right away dude come on the butt during a blowjob i am the i mean come on and that is honestly she's gonna lose her license because of that that's not okay you can't do that to your fucking patients we should go to the doctor but i don't i don't i don't really uh my grandfather never went to the doctor yeah but that's the thing like my dad was like i'll figure it out he he had a heart attack but like you know when you hear heart attack here like you imagine like yeah he had like the flu-like symptoms and drove himself, I think. And then... That happens a lot more than people think. People have yeah, minor yeah. heart attacks. Yeah. Minor... This is the dad joke. It's minor to you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Not to me. My heart right. almost stopped. I'm the heart attack guy. I think that yeah. is funny that I, I know people who have had really severe heart attacks. And then I know people that have had little hiccup heart attacks. Right. Same group. Same... They same, get all... Same kind of guy, though. It's weird. It's like, why does it... Why does it... What is that old Norm MacDonald joke where he's like... Heart attack, attack. It's the only organ that attacks you, tries to kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's going after you. Whatever. That was the would, cancer one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. If you yeah. found out, by the way, this is dark. Okay. 
if you found out just met, I, I we're not so, gonna have more whiskey. You, you, you want to have some more? Y- yeah, I'm here to get fucked up. Oh, I'll pour you some. Let me pour you some. Let of me this. get some of that. We'll say. I'll say some of this rabbit hole here. Okay. Um, if uh, if you found out today, you found out today. Okay. Um, that's it. You your time is limited. You're, I got. You're how long soon. do I got? Well, I got to be honest with you, son. Six months. Six months. That's all we got left for you. That's what we. Am I living? Am I this health for six months and I drop dead, or do I have like a sick month? No, you're gone pretty fast. But what do you, no, no, no. Six no, no, no. months on. Right at the end of six months, it's out. You're out. It's over. But how am I living in month five? Am I on the bed like? Uh, no, or am I no, like you're, able you're still, to you're travel? Still able. What's gonna happen is the last couple of days, it's the lights are gonna turn off. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Australia. Really? I want to do one of those huts on the water. Huts on the water. The, not Australia, but uh, where oh. are people honeymoon? Uh, Tahiti? Yeah. yeah. I would do one of that. That would be a week. Yeah. Um, I'd see my parents. We, you know, I would eat. Done with the gym. Would you tell them? Would I tell my parents? Yeah. I'd on. wait until month, three months in. See, I think about this because you hear like Pee Wee Herman or... Uh, you know, Chadwick Boseman. You see all these guys that, like, didn't tell anybody they had kids. Right. Like Norm didn't tell anybody, you know, except for his extremely close circle. Mm. So, you know, it's interesting. You it is kind of fun it to, that people don't know. W- would you tell people? Mm-mm. You wouldn't tell anybody? Mm-mm. So you wouldn't tell anybody? I wouldn't tell anybody until a month left. One month. One month. Hey, Mom and Dad, I'm out of here in a month. Why wouldn't you tell us? No, no, no. We've you been don't in Boca. tell them that we knew... Six months oh, ago. Oh, you're lying. You're saying you just found out. I found out. Month to live. They don't know it was six months to live. Right. That's why you were in Tahiti. You know, that, that, that wouldn't That's come up. That's why you went to Tahiti. No, they'd be like, wow, you really treat... They would, they'd just be like, you're going to Tahiti. Like, if I said I was going to Tahiti alone, I went to Europe alone. How long were you there? I did 10 days in the south of France. Wait, why'd you go alone? I was like, I'm single. I'm going to go. It was the worst fucking decision. <laughs> Ah, dude, it was right. the dumbest. I mean, it's thing. very stupid to go alone because you have a male audience. I want to make sure that I like. Give yeah, let the guys stuff. know how dumb it was. It was do not, <laughs> don't go to Europe alone. And all these guys are like, no shit. No, I, I, yeah, they don't. You know, yeah, you I don't think know. you're on your <laughs> e pray love. Literally, yeah, you really were. I was like, I'm gonna go to the South of France. Wait till I'm. I'm gonna sit on the beach, bottle of wine, shirt open, down to my navel. Did you do this at all? I did it all. Yeah, but did you? It wasn't satisfactory. It to you. wasn't what I thought. I I don't know what I thought, but if you do this, you'll have like women, the like female friends of mine, and especially again, like I'm very in touch with the audience that follows me. Like I like the people, like the people that come to my shows. I like like them. I, we would be friends. Sure. And I was like, I think I might go to Europe, and they were all reaching out, like you gotta go, you gotta go, go to. South of France, and they had, you know. Where'd you go in South of France? What are we talking? Nice, Cannes, Saint Tropez. Beautiful. No. Yeah, it's gorgeous. No. Saint Tropez was the dumbest fucking decision. Because you were alone. Because I was alone. You got. It's not Saint Tropez's fault. Saint no, Tropez, but you know, Saint Tropez translates to bring a friend. Bring a fr- bring a bring Saint Tropez. Bring a friend. Also, bring a couple mil. Mm. Like you can't, you know, the Hamptons. You ever go to the Hamptons? Mm-hmm. If you go to the Hamptons alone, big mistake. If you go to the Hamptons not with, with, with no dough, unless you're with 30 other 20-year-olds. You got to have some money. You gotta. That's why people go in their 20s with 30 people. They have a summer house. They pool funds yeah. to be able to have a good time. San Tropez was like, I was at a nice hotel looking at the water, looking at like nicer boat, nicer yacht, nicer helicopter on yacht. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and not to say that I need that, but I'm like, I would go, I, you go to the beach club, you're like, they're, they're like, we don't have beach chairs for you. Yeah, you're alone. Yeah, what are you doing? We don't have a no. single. We have a, they come in pairs, of, in, in pairs. Right. They're in twos or they're fours. They're in twos. Yeah. You can sit at the bar in your clothing. And you do. You know, and I would just sit there, you know, I guess I'll have a drink here. I so went, you met nobody? I didn't, I spoke to one woman. I'll tell the story. Okay, mm-hmm. I spoke to one woman. Let's hear The whole. I was in San San Tropez. There's a pool at my hotel. It's a beautiful modern hotel, which is mm-hmm. not very. You know, I liked Nice, the hotel there. I liked the beach clubs. The beach clubs are fucking awesome, but you're alone. You know, like you're alone. I'm alone. Yeah. It was the whole trip. I was there ten days. It's probably like day six of the trip. I'm like Jared. You got to talk to a fucking woman. And day these, six. 
I didn't talk to one. You're sixty percent done with this fucking trip. You haven't spoken to anybody. Not one. There's no bar culture there too. Right. Well, no, it's not. It's a it's a dinner, dinner hang. I was. There's a video on my Instagram. I was at a dinner where they sat me at a table for two, and it was like a honeymoon dinner. Oh. And I'm on the beach. And, and it's like roses and candlelight and champagne flutes. And... I took pictures for like six other tables. And then they did. <laughs> I was the camera guy. If you want a photo, um, the man, the Jew, will take the photo <laughs> at table six. Here's the funniest part about what you're saying right now. Mm -hmm. Now do that. But also, I was wearing a shirt that looked exactly like the wait staff. Oh, sad. I Jesus took a video Christ. of my brother who goes, you're dressed exactly like the fucking staff. It was and like I a looked... white button down or something like that? I was in like a flowered shirt and they were all in like flowered shirts. Oh, so... man. It was bad, and I, you know, I did this trip, and I had a... Speak to the woman. I want to know about the speak to the so woman. So I go to Saint Tropez. I'm yeah. sitting at the pool. There's a pool. It's a big pool. There's day beds. I'm on a day bed. I got a bottle of wine. I'm chilling. Across the pool, there's like three women, and they're having a blast. They're just, you know, chirping. 30s? A, yeah, just like appropriately aged, appropriate mm -hmm. look, like everything good. And I'm like, Jared... Talk to them. Talk to them. Go talk to them. You're your mother. That's your mother. Jerry, go mom. talk to talk them. Talk to them. You haven't spoken to one woman. <laughs> yeah. What's going on with you? Come on, Jerry. What's wrong with You're you? You're not gay, Jerry. Come on. You like a Jewish little Jewish Boston, by the way. Great accent. She's from Michigan, but she Oh, I, she is? My mom is like the most Northeast woman that you've ever met. You're not Tyler. gay, Jerry. Jerry, you like a little titty. <laughs> so, <laughs> I go... I get in the water. This is my first mistake. Oh, what are you doing? I thought I'd float get over. Wet? I got in. I Jesus thought I'd float Christ. over. Why? You still get it, wet? Before huge you talk mistake. To him? Yeah. I, I go in the water. I text get a, me first. You do these things. I know. Well, you wouldn't talk to me. Now, text now, me. Now, man. Text it, me. Am I, has this been a good episode? This has been a great episode. You gotta great? text me. It's been great. It's been these good. These YouTubers better fucking agree. Let me tell you something. This has been. This has good? been Penn State. That's right. Arizona State. It's been Arizona State. <laughs> so you get in the water like a fucking seal. A couple of sun devils over here. A couple of devils, baby. Hook them. Fork them. What a fantastic mascot. Yeah, fork them. Is a that what they did? Yeah, we fork them. I didn't even know that. Yeah, we fork them. I it's, love it. It's the that. shocker, but we fork them. No, 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 no. I love it. I love every second All right, of come that. on. You get I in the water. You okay, get wet. So I get in the water. I get wet. The pool's about five five. I'm five foot eight and a half. Like it was like two. So now I'm on my tippy toes in the water, Chin holding high. a glass of wine. Chin high water. Right. And this is so embarrassing and funny. So embarrassing. It's like a good Looking scene back, in the movie. Yeah. It was horrific. Yeah. I got halfway across the pool. Ladies. <laughs> no, so, no, no, no. I go. So stupid. Yeah, ladies would have been better. I go. Hey, where are you guys from? Oh no. From across the pool. Where are you from? Where are you from? What are you a stalker? What does it matter where, where they're we from? Another high school? I know. Where do we play against each other? Where does your dad work? What does your mommy and daddy do? I That's just what assumed you said. they were Americans. What does your mommy and daddy do? That's the same kind of where are you from? Well, this is I hi mean, girls. Summer camp, Jew. You brought me to a different story. When we used to uh, camp, we used to play. What does your dad do, and how does he get there? Ugh. Because we wanted to know God. who's the richest kid in camp. That's right. Yeah. Can't so you, can't you tell? Isn't there a way to tell? With you, you just guys? gave me the anti-Jew <laughs> face. I I saw it. I love this whiskey. What's it called? The Holocaust didn't happen? Okay. Uh, no, no. Well, this one is the Holocaust didn't happen. Uh, oh, okay. That one is it might have happened. Right. This yeah, is, they, they have run the media. Four different blends. Sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> we love Kanye uh, ale. Do we ever. So, <laughs> so you say, hey, where are you from? I go, where are you guys from? This one woman just from the group. They didn't even, the other two didn't even turn. The other one woman from the group just goes, we don't speak English. Brilliant. Love that woman. Great. Love her. I love mean, her. for the women listening. She's right. Great they, comeback to anyone talking to you. Mm -hmm. There's no better. That's worse than a no. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, no, no one would say no. We don't speak English. She turns back around. I swam back to my seat. Oh. That's the saddest moment in the history of my life. That was the only time you talked to somebody? That was the only time. Whoa. After that, I was like, uh, what the fuck? Like, I, I mean, who am I gonna, who are you going to talk to after that? I'm done talking I'd for be, the trip. I'd, I gotta tell you, I'd be I'd pretty. Be, I'd be pretty good at speaking to people alone. But it, but the difference would be, I'd be there not hit. You're trying to get in. They can feel you trying to hit on them. Mm. Women are so keen, and they're they right. know like you're utilizing this solo sad guy technique. <laughs> but I would speak to people. 
You know, okay, can I give you a better trick? You made it sound, I didn't think it could sound worse. It's a solo sad guy <laughs> solo technique. Solo sad guy it's technique? So, and they know. That's a great t-shirt. Solo sad guy I, technique? Yeah. yeah. I know Bobby went, Lee likes some merch. <laughs> yeah. Solo sad guy does. technique. Solo sad guy technique where you where you uh, wade up to a group of women who clearly don't want you anywhere near them. The move, by the way. Okay. The move, because I do moves not to hit on. This is I married moves, guy confidence. Okay. I do moves um, for culture, right? Like if I'm with a group of my friends <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the guys are single in the group, mm. I help them do moves because they'll do that. They'll do you what you did. No, and I go, no, no, you no, look no, like no. a There's... bozo. I go, here's the move. Buy them around, buy them around. Yeah. Tell the waiter, send it over, send that thing over yeah. to them. And then once they get the round, by the way, the moment the waiter's doing the, that guy, yeah, da, da, yeah, da, da, yeah. Da, you're out swimming alone for a little bit. You're going to go leave your chair. No, leave your chair. Go fuck off. So they can't even come say thank you. Right, right. Let it, let no, it happen later. And if they never say thank you, it doesn't matter. You know what's going to end up happening? Somehow, the Disney wor world that we live in, mm. you're going to run into them later that night somehow. Right, but it's also, happen. if they don't do it, that's your answer. Doesn't matter. You don't have to endure the pain. Buy them a round of drinks. Yeah, that was the move. And and this is why you hang out with married guys. Because we just figure we, we clear can, head. Clear, clear head. heads prevail. Right. This is you going You're oh, filled whoa, whoa, with whoa, jizz. Whoa. Yeah, I am jizzed up. You're floating through the pool, neck high water, right. filled with jizz. Where are you guys from? Right, right. So desperate. <laughs> No, right. send him the drink. Don't even acknowledge it happened. I listen, I've been guy in relationship with single guys, and I you're totally right. The you functionality is so high level. So like different. I'm a wingman so much for for you know, like uh you know my buddy Chris O'Connor. You know O'Connor. Who? Chris O'Connor. How, how would I know You don't know O'Connor? Who is this? Is he East Coast guy? He's lived to Shane Gillis and those guys? Oh, I don't know if I ever got You don't that. know these guys? No. Sad. Makes me sad. He's a great comic. This is that you probably told them not to talk to me. I gotta tell you, I'm gonna text him right now. <laughs> but Connie, Connie, uh, when he's not single, to not to besmirch him. I, no, I, when that he's wasn't single, a, me such a talking like shit. such a I'm such a helpful hand. Mm. Like, cause he'll say no. He'll yeah, say no, 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 when he's single, helpful. when he's out there and he's single and he's X Y Z, I give him the other way. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. right? No, you. You you show him, you dog. know he's looking through X. Go backwards. Right, he's looking through a keyhole. Work backwards. Right, and I help him do this thing. That that is kind of the easiest way for me to go. I see the mistakes that you're making. It's because it's because you are filled with jizz. Right, and it's you too can't much be. jizz. You can't be. That's the T-shirt I sell on the. Too road. much jizz, and it should have been the name of your special. But the na the name of the special thirty seven is 37 and single, which could be AKA too much, too much jizz. jizz. Yeah, it could be the same. Single. So everybody at home, please do yourself a favor and go watch the special. It's a fun laugh. You're gonna like it. I gotta plug it and plug it right now. Well, I'll sell it. Sell the world on I, it. I, you want me to sell? Sell it, baby. I'll fucking bring the turtle wax. Let's go. Don't. So, please don't. So. Go get McGuire's instead. Thirty-seven and single. Yeah. It's on Netflix right now. Netflix approved. You can go see it right now. And you might know, like I, I'm speaking to your male listeners mm. because I, I think they might know a woman who knows me. There's good chickadoos on here. There's chickadoos. Yeah, we got some good chickadoos. Chickadoos, chickadoons, chickadoo, chickadees. They're all chickadoo. I love a chickadoo. Here's the thing: what you can watch with your girlfriend. There's jokes from the bat. You know, I got bachelor jokes on there, but they're related to me as a guy. Got it. Uh, dating, body issues, parents, friends. Gender reveal parties. All That's right. all on the special. One thing you, body, body, what did you say? Body, body issues? Body issues, yeah. What's the biggest one? I've been trying to lose 10 pounds my whole life. How much do you weigh? I, it's it's a tough conversation. Probably 220. 220. Yeah. Five, if, eight, but that's five, like eight. a kind number five, to myself. 5'8", 220. Eight and a half. 5'8", 220. 5'8", five, and a half. Without shoes, bud. 5'8", five, five, eight, eight, and a half. 5'8", 220. I have one leg an inch and a half longer. Than, we will get on the floor and grapple, okay? 5'8", <laughs> <laughs> 220. That half You've been inch. wanting to be 210 for a long time. I, no. Perfect way 190. to... 190. That's that's tough. 190 is tough. 190 is what I should Very be. Very thin, 190. I would love that. I'd be... But I couldn't live that way. I, I like to eat too much. I like to hang out. I like to have a... 7.30 in the morning whiskey every now and again. Sauce. Yeah. That's I okay. like to drink. If I if I really, I eat at night. That's my big thing. What is it? Nighttime eating. Fast food? Every, just eat. You don't, it's- it just, The last 15 minutes is special about nighttime eating. And you're just ingesting. It just, give me more. It's not pleasure, it's gluttony. No, right? it is literally, like, I get to the end of the day and it's like, 
I'm depressed mm. that the day's eating is done. Oh my god. What? This is how you interview people? Wow, that sounds that so sad. The judgiest thing way I've you ever said it sounds so sad. You're supposed sad. to go, I get it. I don't get it. That's sad. The way you said it sounded sad. I'm sad that wow. the, I'm depressed that the eating is done. <laughs> Think about that. Don't give me two whiskeys and then go <laughs> and then go. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, don't. Well, don't pull out the sadness. This is L.A. You are fully L.A. now. Let me tell you something. I've never. I have a relationship with food where. What do you eat? I don't not I don't deprive myself of anything, but I don't. But I you don't, don't go over the over the top. I don't. What am I to? What? Why? I don't need to. I never have. You're that. never full. No, that's full. not true. That's not true. Well, I go no, up. full to the point of like I fucking need to go take a nap. And I never. F- I never eat a thing because I feel bad. Mm. I know people that eat stuff when they feel bad. That's I right. know that's a thing. Eat when you're not hungry. You wouldn't eat when you're not hungry. Why am I eating? I'm not hungry. No, you have the body of someone who eats a. You have the body of healthy relationship with food. I, and look, and it, it's not like, oh, I'm better than those that don't. No, no, no. no, no. What I'm I, I, is, listen, we all have our things. I never, I never, yeah, mine fucking sauce. I love, I love I sauce. got them both. You do. <laughs> no, I, but I. No, but I, but I don't turn to, I don't turn to late night, get home, eat because I'm emotional about something or I'm mm. sad or I'm bummed about a spot or I'm bummed about a thing or da 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 or whatever. So yeah. a, lo- a lot of people will just go to that route. Mm. For me, the mind spins, which is even probably worse. I'll sit up at night and I can't go to sleep. You'll eat and pass out right away. Right. Won't no, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'll eat, pass out, wake up, have Take to a fast shit. the next day. Oh. Like I'll punish myself for the eating that night. The sit up at night, yeah, that doesn't speak to me. The, I'll sit up all night long thinking about it. Thinking about what? Whatever was going on, man. I didn't like the way that spot was. I don't like this thing. This I'm trying to work on. Do you on. create enemies? No. No. no, this guy. Yeah, me, me. You're the enemy. Yeah, I, I peel peel myself to pieces trying to think about why this doesn't work or why don't why don't I like this or what do I really want to have happen in this part of my career or my life? And does your wife work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does. Yeah, she's got her own. Not in the business. She's but like a, her own. She's thing. an adult human. Yeah, with her own job. Lawyer. She's her own thing. She's uh she is a defense attorney. Really? Yeah, she's a DA. Hot. She's a DA. No, <laughs> fucking hot. <laughs> Show told, me a picture. I told you she's Jewish, dude. Wait, no, shut the fuck up. Don't, don't, don't get on. Me oh, this it, is right? why you're so free and. You, th- I'm not th- going to convert. Now I get it. I'm not going to convert. Well, now I know why you're so. You think we're dealing with convert? these Jews? You think things? I'm going to flip sides? <laughs> All right, listen. Let me tell let me see people. A picture. Let me tell people genuinely. Curvy. Uh, she's Long five eight two twenty. Oh my god, that's my type. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, people of all ages, races, colors, and creeds. Go watch the special Thank 37 you. and Single right now on Netflix. Uh, please go watch it. Keep yeah, go. What, what, what we appreciate, and I'm being genuine as a comedian, is uh, to help us keep growing as comics in the community and supporting people that are in the community. It helps us get this thing to other levels. That way you see it. This is more sad than my speech about the... No, 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 I'm being genuine. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. What it does for us communally is it continues to make comedy a fixture in this digital world. And I don't know if I'm supposed to be promoting it because of the strike. No. Well, I don't know. We're not not union. We're not union guys. You're not? No, I'm in the union, but this isn't a movie or a television show. This is a stand-up comedy special. I need to, like, tell some of my friends about this. I... (laughs) I don't even know that. I don't know the the rules about that, but uh, I think that's like garbage. I like listen. The strike is no, no, no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, I no, no, no. I'm I'm all for people being paid what they should be fairly yeah. be paid. And you're saying promoting a comedy special is not the same thing. Not the same thing. And it's also you know like you worked the, so hard on it too. Wouldn't it be bummer if you couldn't promote it? Oh my God! I that, like... that's what kills me. I have a movie that's coming out at the end of the year, and I thought. Man, I won't, what if they? I won't, we won't even be able to fucking right? And it's talk like, about it. and and uh, Works what so what, hard. what people put you in the position of is arguing with people that you agree with, hundred percent. You know, and it's like then there's like billionaires just on a yacht in Saint Tropez, laughing. laughing at me, waiting in the water trying to talk to a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's a perfect analogy. <laughs> you know, like, did you see the, the stupid uh, five eight man with? <laughs> Above water, chubby talking Jew, to the girl. say yeah. where are you from? You know, hey, yeah. chubby Jew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so good. It's yeah. true. It's we're like, arguing. Well, but that not that the whole, isn't that truly what's really going on culturally right now is we're arguing with people that we agree with? Yes. It's a absolutely. great, dude, honestly, what an astute phrase. I feel like more and more I'm arguing with people that I agree with where I'm like, you know, we feel the same way. Right, right, right. We just we're have just... one little thing different. Right. And so why are we, that's what they want. 
and I say they as in Jews. Th- Jews. <laughs> that's what they want. That's what the biggest entities would like us to do. They, the government's the same way. They they don't want you to be on the same squad. They're like, but these guys fucking hate They're each the other. They're the Kardashians. We need two sides of an argument. You gotta. I need someone to go, I'm, of course she's self-made. And then another person to go, well, she was given everything self-made. How could you make it? F- and yeah. that's how you get a big TikTok. Do you ever go watch your wife defend a criminal? Oh, she's not a DA. No? No, oh, she's not. I was all hard over here. But oh, I could keep it going if you'd like me to. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I'll go watch her. Yeah? Yeah, she's pretty good and at she's her like, job. Um fucking She wears this nice little pencil skirt and she always has a chopstick you know in her I hair. I would like this. Pencil look. skirt, chopstick in her hair. Yeah. Old school, uh very old uh she wears sheer tights. Yeah. Uh she has an assistant that's like chunky heel, got a chunky heel. Love she has an assistant heel. who's kind of like a mess. A little tiny, she's a little tiny girl. Uh, her assistant. Let's she, do she's, another three she's hours. a mess. Pour me some of the, let's do another three hours here. What are you off your fucking head? Do we oh, think this go, is oh, Joe Rogan? I knew it. What do you think this is Joe I Rogan? Knew it. He's a business. I walked. You. What do you think this is that, Joe? Yeah, the Ferrari Rogan? doesn't pay its payments <laughs> on its own. <laughs> God, I wish I had a fucking Ferrari. What do you have? I have seventeen cars. No, you don't. Seventeen. Seventeen. No. What are oh, we my. talking about? Do you said you're a big car do you, guy? Do you when really people want to know? put their I, money in I still have a Hyundai Sonata. No, you don't. Shut up. It's outside. We can look at it when we leave. Oh, you're really trying to lie to these people. <laughs> you can look at it when we leave. You want to let people know. <laughs> no, Come people, on, you're a rich fan, guy. My fans know I have a Nissan Cube. I've always been a big Cube guy. Cube. Shut the fuck up. What do you mean, dude? I'm a Cube for life kind of guy. D- d- stop it. I'm a Cube for life. Drive around on a PT loser. Excuse the, me. The purple one. One of like the greatest the, cars ever made. Like you're the, the Joker. <laughs> No, I have five Dodge Vipers. I can't Stop get. I it, just. I love the fuck these up. fucking things. I think they just. They're the pinnacle. This of cars. guy took an improv class. He's nonstop. He's actually very quick and smart. Uh, I keep my. I His keep, is water. I keep my little <laughs> things a secret, so the kid, the kids, uh, they'll never yeah, know. You don't want them to know how rich you got. No, it's not that. No, that I just keep. I don't want. I've it. always been rich, so I. You've you know, always I, been a rich guy. <laughs> yeah, so I. Trust me, the Boca thing gave yeah, it away. Yeah, Boca, you knew summer camp. Well, two let me power say. Wheels. Let, let me say this to you. Yeah. I hope people watch the special and they like it and they enjoy it. Okay. I hope you I hope you uh, initiate a whole new set of fans. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I hope you learned a lesson on this show about not walking up to girls and asking where they're from. Yeah, no, no, no. no. I, did that did we learn that, something? The it it is a great move to go, hey, wanna buy them drinks. Don't need well this is this goes back to like do you pay on the first date? Of course you do. Yeah, you, you don't pay have on to. the fucking first date because yeah. take away they don't want the quality. issue. They don't want equality, man. They want you to pay. Right. Equality is uh partial equality. Qual- no, equality. They I, want I, quality, I, not I, equality. I, they I, want quality. Yeah. No, and a quality guy goes, the only way I get hard is if I pay for this fucking date. Yeah. You have trouble getting up. Not a day in my life. I have trouble putting it down. Just always hard. Always. <laughs> That's why your leg is crossed right now. Right. I gotta listen. I was <laughs> talking about your wife in that pencil skirt. Hey, <laughs> you son of a bitch. Listen, Jewish woman. Uh, a DA. Did she go to camp? She went to. Ugh, come on, don't give me an easy Jew joke about camps. Don't uh, do that. What dude, are you doing? Don't take it. Well, don't put it don't out there. Do that well, don't to say me. it. I think you're a good comic. You don't guys ruin should. This. You guys should. Don't say, ruin this. You should you say do... something other than summer camp. You no should say summer we, getaway. No, no, no. We do it to fucking. Find tempt out us. who the hacks are. To tempt, no, you're tempting us. Yeah, we're tempting you. Whoever makes that joke, I go. Oh, I know. Jewish summer Good camp. Good to know. Yeah, summer yeah. camp. Summer camp. Yeah. Camp. 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 And camp, then you camp. guys go. It's a DJ ah, mix. Ah, ah, and I go. No, I don't. I don't go for it. But I just read. One way time, too my close. buddy was dating a girl, and him and I like we've known each other since summer camp. And he, she goes, <sighs> she goes. Someone was like, "How do they know each other?" And her, and she looked at them and was like. Yeah, they went to Jew camp together. And well, I was that like, one that one sounds a little bit more game appropriate. Over Jew camp. I knew yeah. she was out from me. Jew camp. I know what you know. It's like laughing at you with laughing with you. Yeah, you know. Jew camp's a little abrasive. What about Jew boy camp? Do- <laughs> Get that out one, of here. That one's better. That no. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't talk to that person ever again in my life. They went to Jew camp. That's what she said. Well, she, they went to Jew camp together. And he's someone who cares about the summer camp as much as I do. You yeah. know, like we. What was it called? Do you remember? Uh, do I remember what I was talking to the owner a couple days ago? Oh, is, are you a supporter of it then? I love it. Do you still give to it? Give, give. What are you talking about? What do you think? This don't is you a... don't you donate to keep no, this thing moving? No, this is, what is this? Arizona State? Come on, dude. You got to donate. 
You got too much money now. Not Netflix <laughs> gave you that big deal. Netflix gave you a no, deal. You no, got to kick some back to the community. Me, we'll they we'll give be you partners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like we'll be partners. They on leased this. you a they leased you a Hyundai Sonata. That's what they said. We'll lease yeah, you a Sonata. Yeah, they said. Do you want to drive a cube? I said, <laughs> you better believe keep it. it. Keep, keep the it. Keep it. Keep it and think about me. Yeah, I'll take an Uber. All right, listen, sweetheart. I love you. We're done. I okay. appreciate you. What are you doing tonight? We're going to do spots. You want? Are you doing spots? I got no spots. I'll come fart around then. I'll come hang. I I'm doing one tomorrow. I'm gone tomorrow. Where are you going? Let's we'll take a little trip. Oh, vacation. Not a vacation. Just taking a little. Just getting out of town. What does that mean? I'll tell you off the air. Okay. You ever heard of Epstein's Island? All right, we end the show the same way. <laughs> Look at that camera right there. Look at that okay. camera right there. You say one word or one phrase to end the episode. One word or one phrase to end the episode whenever you're ready. It's embedded in history for the rest of time. Go watch Cheeseburger. No. Look at that. Go watch 37 single. That was really nice. Fucking mensch. Mensch. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.